Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be showing you where to find all the keys for all the locks in the first house in Hello Neighbor 2. But before we start by going into this house, we need to start off by going into this tree house. Because we're going to need the scissors that are in here to get all four keys. So let's head up. Once you're in the tree house, you need to look at this picture and pick up this arm. And you want to attach the arm to the robot. This is what the robot needs to look like to match this picture right here. Then you want to put the switch on here and that's going to divert the train to push the scissors. That's the scissors sorted, let's get into the house. For key number one, when you come through the front door, take a left and go into this little room here. There's a safe that needs to be opened by finding four blocks. The four blocks are 1, 9, 8 and 4 and that's the code. The blocks are found in the toilet, in the fridge and by the front window of this room. The final block is found on the desk. As you can see here you match them up to the ribbons to find out the code which is 1984. And when you've opened it you're going to get yourself the circle key. For the second key that's on the first floor of the house, we need to find three figures to go on top of this dollhouse to match the three figures that are on the fridge. First off, we're going to open up this piece of wood here that's right on the wall and that's going to give us our first figure and this doll goes right on the end. For doll number two, we need to jump on here and you can see that the doll is on the other side so we need to head round, interact with the painting and jump in. For the final doll, we need to go by the stairs. Interact with the painting, and we need to turn this to spell not. Once you've done that, you'll be able to find the final doll right here. Here is the bear key. So that's the first two keys sorted on the first floor. The next thing we need to do is head upstairs. The first task we're going to do up here is the racing car. And the way we do that is by heading into the other room to begin with. We need to pick up this switch. Place it on the wall here. And we're going to get access to a secret room. Cut the cobwebs, pick up the battery and run through to the other room. Place the battery in the remote. Send the remote control car both ways and when it returns it's going to have the third key. The square key. And for the final key you want to go back through to the other room where you're going to find a picture frame missing four pieces. The first thing we're going to do is jump on top of here and cut this dumbbell free. Pick up the dumbbell and run it through to the other room. Once you place the dumbbell on the button, it's going to open up the wardrobe behind you where you can pick up the first piece. Run through to the photo and place it on there. The second piece of the photo is just right round here on the other side much easier to get. The third and fourth piece of the photo are also very easy to get. The first one is with this crate that we need to open up. So let's switch over to our crowbar. And the final one is inside this pillow which again we're going to need to switch back over to the scissors. Let's go and place the last two pieces. Once you've placed all four pieces, this fake bookcase is going to open up. And if you jump up, you're going to be able to pick up the heart key. Heart, square, bear, and circle. And of course, they all go in the living room where there is four locks on the door.
Thanks for watching the video.